Adrian Nunez out here, training, pro basketball player, primal iron strength training, badass dude, keep you in badass shape. Perfect. We have another believer, my friend. We have another believer in Mr. Angel. Yeah, man, you guys want to come out here, go a little bit harder, a little bit louder, a little bit heavier. Real strength for the real world, baby. Primal line straight training. Get with Mike. Get with myself. Check us out on Facebook. Check us out on YouTube. Come down here. Embrace the suck. Live for the pain. Ah! <laughs> is we're going to squat down and we're going to get the belt. When you squat down and get the belt, I don't want you to think of squatting with your legs. I want you to think of hinging from the hips and pushing your ass back, right? When we grip the belt, we're going to get that uh, kind of too much metal for one hand thing, right? Your pinky's going to be out and you're not going to be able to get your whole hand through those. Subscribe here. So what we're going to do is we're going to push our ass back, we're going to drop back, we're going to get the handle of the belt, and then we're going to stand. When we stand, we're going to push our hips forward. So ass back, hips forward, right? Everything begins and ends in the hips, right? And then from here, we're going to do a little bit of a football height pass. We're going to dip our knees just a little bit. Every movement is small, small movements, right? There's no need to do big extreme movements here. Every movement is small. We're going to dip our legs just a little bit, kind of do a football height pass, height, right? Now when the ball of the bell hits your ass, when you do that high pass, you're going to hinge back just a little bit. The ball of the bell is going to hit you in the ass, and you're going to explode forward using your hips. You're going to push with the hips, right? You're going to push with the hips. So it's going to look kind of like this. We're going to do a little high pass, hike, push yeah. with the hips. Not with the legs, but with the hips. The hips are driving the movement, okay? And notice it's small movements. I'm not going way down here or way up here. It's just right here, up to about chest level chest or chin level right here boom and also notice that it's a push not a punch right it's a push hike stand hike stand all from the hips all right now first time you do it it's gonna look terrible and then we're gonna clean it up all right so go ahead line it up eyes up always okay eyes up here's the thing eyes up always because the, the way that you can really hurt yourself here is by rounding your spine, right? In order to keep that spine level, keep your eyes neutral or up, okay? Because it is physically impossible for you to round your spine if your eyes are up. Okay. The minute your eyes go down, you can round out. But even, I mean, like, look up and you can try to round your spine. Physically, it's impossible. Not going to happen. One guy. <laughs> I saw one guy do it. He was rushing. Absolutely, Weird. yeah. Anyway, all right. So, go down and get it. Grab the belt. Now stand up. We call this position the lock and load position right here. So, I said lock and load. Boom, we're on. Now, a little height pass. Push with the hips. Go. It's actually not too bad. That's actually... All right, then. He's high level. Man. <laughs> That's why, right. right. yeah. That's good. Give me about 10 more like that. That form's great, bro. <laughs> Mike, have you been working with this guy? Yeah, but he's been training for like a long time like us, you All know. Right. Have you done kettlebells before? Yeah, my moon looks like this, but I do Alright, okay. Alright, set it down, take a deep breath. Let's get back on it again. This time we're going to add a little bit of resistance on top. Kind of really drive it back into the hips, and so you're really gonna have to push to get it out. Okay, but dude, the form looks good. Get it up here. Yep, right about there. Right when it gets to here, it's gonna hit my hand, and we're we'll giving a little bit of a push. All right, so you're gonna have to drive a little bit harder to get it out. But your form looks good. I'm just trying to dial it in a little bit. That's it. Go get it. And you good? No, I'm just <laughs> lock it low. Three. Nice. Yes. Perfect. Now, feet. Five more, just like that. One, two, three, four, five. Now keep swinging by yourself. Five, two, three, four, five. Let the momentum come out and set it down. Okay, now. How do you put it? What? So what? How do I how do it put it down? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Just let the momentum come out and you're good. All right. Uh, I'm going to get some chalk on your hands to make it a little bit easier. All right. Now, you should feel it 
here, you should feel it here and here. Where you should not feel it more than just a little bit is in your lumbar spine. Definitely. Keep it out of there. All right. If you start feeling your lumbar spine, stop. We'll do a full corrective exercise. We'll be all right. Okay. Now, single hand work. This will be easy. All right. Mike, he's getting a little bit more than you did. Absolutely. Right. We're gonna do. We're gonna get you up through a clean and a press. All right. The way the clean works is you're gonna grab a single hand. You're still popping from the hips. But instead of it coming, watch out now on a swing, it comes kind of far out away from the body. On a clean, we're going to keep it closer to the body, right? We're going to keep it close right here, right along that center line. And we're going to do what I call a rip and roll, all right? And when I say we're rip and roll, you want to rip like you're starting to chainsaw, right? You're going to rip like you're starting to chainsaw, and then you're going to roll the hand over here, right? Like as if I was throwing a hook to the body, and you're dropping that elbow down, you're rolling that elbow under the cover, right? And the kettlebell is going to wind up in a cradle right oh, here. Rack so position. I'm, am I going to go all the way back now? Or no, no, no. The swing. The swing. The swing. Yeah. Here, yeah. boom. So that, yeah. Here, boom. Yeah. All right? Give me a shot. Don't. Okay. Oh. All right. Two things. No wrist. No wrist. No wrist. Keep that thing right there. And the cradle should be right about here. And the body should be outside of this. You self right here. Elbow right here. No wrist. Because if you turn that wrist this way, ouch. If you turn that way, this wrist this way, big ouch. Right? So kind of keep it in there. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. Straighten it out. There you go. That's what I want. Right there. And if I'm not close to the combo, I'm close to the body right there. And when I say dunk, just do a back swing, bring it right back. Boom! God, a little tighter. That's all right. That's all right. Be more proactive. Be more proactive about getting your hand under this. Okay? Watch. What you're doing, what you're doing is this. You're kind of popping it and just kind of letting it right. crash. That roll part is to get the hand underneath it, to actively kind of get that hand underneath it as it's coming up. So right here when it's in the groove, just kind of roll that hand under it and get it here. Instead of yeah, for what where? <clears throat> instead of this. And what's the right one? Right about here. Roll it under. Okay. Boom. Roll it under. Okay. Right. Give it a shot. All right, tighten it up. Yep. Boom. boom. Okay. One last thing. Don't post. <laughs> Don't post. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Go ahead, try. Boom. Boom. Better. 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 Just get that pop and get it right about here. Boom. One swing movement. It's going to be a little crashy at first. Watch that wrist. Boom. All right. Let me get my watch off. I'm going to have you mirror me here. I'm going to have you mirror me. And when I say mirror me, when I say mirror me, I want you to pay attention. I want you to keep your eyes on me and let your body follow what I'm doing. Okay? So go ahead and get back on it with that right hand. Right? You're going to be on your right hand, and I'm going to be on my left hand like a mirror, right? Okay? So, from here, go ahead and stand up and in that position. There you go. Little back swing. Don't post. You can put this hand anywhere. Put it here, put it here. Let it do this gunslinger thing, whatever. But don't post. And I'll, I'll show you why here in a minute. All right? So, we're going to back swing. We're going to bring it up to the rack. Here we go. And boom. Boom. See that? Boom. There. This is where you want it. This is where you want it. Okay? I'm going to dump. We're going to do it again. You ready? Back up in that rack position. Dump. Rack. Much better. Okay? Again, same thing. Here we go. Hoot. Boom. Yes. Okay? Now, same thing on the side. Same thing on the side. Ready? Hoot. Post. That's good. Good. Better. Boom. Dump. Rack. Dump. Rack. Good. Now, from that position, right, next thing is going to be the press. Okay? And from here, I don't want an I and I don't want an L. I want kind of a short J. You're going to roll a hand out just a little bit and then push overhead. Totally lock your arm out. You can lock it out. So you're going to roll, lock it out. Boom. And bring it back. Oh yeah. Life is life is about to suck. Up. Boom. Bring it back. Wrist. 
Push! Yes. Bring it back. Push! Bring it back. Alright, now we're gonna do the whole thing. Dump, rack, press, crack. Ready? You wanna switch hands? You switch hands, no problem. Go ahead and switch back over the other hand. Height! Alright, so we're gonna dump, rack, press, rack. Ready? And dump, rack, press, rack. Dump, rack, press, rack. Okay, now from here, from the rack. Now you good, you good. You good, man. You good. Just press. Okay? Just press. Okay? Just clean. Just clean. Clean. Boom. Just clean. Boom. Boom. Now full clean and press. Clean. Press. That's it. Boom. Just that easy. All right? <laughs> you already got that look like I think I'm about to hate life right now. Probably. Probably. A little bit. Absolutely. All right. Before we get started here, man. I'm going to the chalk bucket. Get a little dust of chalk on your hands. Right? Dust on your hands. And then bring some of that chalk over here. Chalk the handle on both of your bells. Just chalk the handle on both of them. This will help keep it from, uh, this will help keep it from shredding your hand too big, too bad. There you go. All right. So, how long have you smoked them up? What, 30 minutes? 30 minutes. 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Okay. Here's what's going to happen. Here's what's going to happen. Here we go. Every time that charm goes off, it's going to be a 30 second interval, right? Every other set that we do, it's going to be 30 seconds of two-handed swings, right? Then there'll be a 30-second rest. Then we'll get on the single-hand work, and we'll do 30 seconds per side of something, right? And then it'll be a 30-second rest. Then we're back to the swing. So we're, we're going here, yep. 30? Yep. 30? 30 rest. 30. 30 rest. 30 rest. 30, 30 rest. Like that. All right, all right. All right. Let's begin the baptism, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Get ready. On station. Here we go. 30 seconds. Bring it. Swing. Use those hips. Everything in the hips, nice and easy. And remember your breathing. I hear that oxygen thing is pretty important. I read that on the internet. It could be wrong, but I heard that oxygen thing pretty important. Keep swinging. Nice. Nice. Good hip engagement. Excellent hip engagement. There is a push, not a punch. Set it down. All right. 30 seconds. Just clean per side. Good? Absolutely. I know. I know. I know. That's why I brought you here, baby. But that's conditioning, too. That's conditioning, too. And a lot of that's mental toughness, right? So those handles are cold, right? We're not gonna do any damage to your joints, I promise. Because I know those hands are precious to you, so you'll be all right. Get ready. <laughs> Absolutely. 30 seconds. There we go, side. baby. Just cleans. Just cleans. Boom. Yes. Boom. 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 Don't kiss with that elbow. Move that arm out there floating. Everything in the hips. Everything in the hips. That arm gets on that leg. A, it starts pulling.